Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to a new video. And guys, today's video is something really, really cool. Like, this is like one of the coolest videos I've made in a while. So, um, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a texture pack, okay? So, I've been talking about how I wanted to kind of create my own texture pack on PC and kind of do like an advanced version of the city texture pack. And that's actually a thing now. So, uh, I didn't actually make it. Um, I got messaged on Twitter and during my live stream and I guess one of my fans made a custom city texture pack for PC Minecraft. So I'm going to go through it today. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, all the new textures, what blocks have been changed and some of the cool features of it. First off, this is the main menu with the texture pack equipped and you guys can see in the background, it's kind of blurry and faded, but you can tell that it's actually a picture of Los Angeles in the background right above the plaza. So over here where my mouse is, you can see the Eclipse Tower, the baseball field down here, and then we have the townhouses. So like, how awesome is that? It's like having your own texture pack. Like this is like, this is so cool for me. So um, I'm gonna go to uh, Los Angeles and I'm going to show you guys the custom version of the city texture pack, the Dan Lags version of the city texture pack. So here's how this is gonna work. So let me go to my options and my resource packs. And here it is guys, look, city modified. And it's even got my logo as the picture for the texture pack. And it says a modified pack for my boy Dan, so pretty cool of him to uh, to do this. And I'm gonna put the, um, the developer of this custom texture pack. I'm gonna put his Twitter in the description if you wanted to uh, give him some thanks for for making this. And um, you know, again, I can't thank him enough for doing something like this. I didn't ask him to do it. He just randomly messaged me out of the blue, and I was like, all right, I'll download this, see how it looks. And I was blown away by the improvements to the city texture pack that he made. So. Um, let's go ahead and start to look at some of the improvements, some of the changes to the city texture pack and how it makes it just that much better. So most of the blocks are still the same and still the city texture pack that you guys are used to on Xbox 360. Um, but a lot of the blocks are completely new and modified. So we'll just kind of go through them right now. And I guess I'll just do it right here, here in the middle intersection. But there's actually a change log that he uh, gave me along with the pack. And I'll be going through that right now. So... Here are the changes. The first thing that he did was he made quartz look brighter and cleaner. So let's go ahead and take out some quartz blocks. Here we go. So I'll just grab, you know, some of the basic things. And as you guys know, you know, quartz blocks are good in the city texture pack, but, um, you know, they could have been a little bit like whiter and cleaner. And I think he did a good job of doing that, um, especially in the, the city texture pack version that was converted to PC. They weren't exactly as clean as they were on Xbox necessarily. So um, he did a good job of kind of revamping those. So now they are like extremely viable and they look great for pretty much any build. So that's the first thing. Second thing, he uh, actually made his own custom purple blocks, which I think is pretty cool. So purple blocks are something that aren't on Xbox yet. And that way the city texture pack really doesn't have a texture for them. They would just be default. So he just go, he just came in and just made his own, right? So here are the four purple blocks. This is like the main block and it has the same texture. Uh, he just made it white, so it's just like another white block that could be used for something. It's, you know, viable for many options if you, you know, let's say you don't want to use quartz or whatever, but there are your purple blocks, which again are really useful. I love when we can use those and actually like have them as a part of a build, but the next thing he did was change up the light gray wool. So this is one thing that I think I'm not 100% sure about. Um, what he did was he actually put lines in the light gray wool. I like the color of them. I think that's great, but I think without the lines, it would be better personally. And, um, like this is what it would look like on a large scale, let's say on the Mirage apartments here. So these normally didn't have any lines in them. I actually don't mind it. Like I'm, I'm okay with it, but I think it probably looks better in its old version. So maybe we can get that changed back. Um, I'm sure we can, but the next thing is andesite blocks. So, um, here they are right here. Uh, these kind of had a, a specific look on Xbox and he changed them up a little bit and I actually like the way they look So I'm very happy with those uh, Next up is acacia wood and dark oak wood. So These already have a texture on on PC or on uh, Xbox But here on PC they don't because it's uh, an older version of the of the city texture pack So the dark oak wood blocks are pretty much exactly the same as you guys are used to on Xbox 360 uh, Very nice texture. He did a great job with those but what he really changed was the acacia the acacia blocks are now bricks and I like this a lot. Um, I, I do like the way acacia, lo acacia wood looks on the regular city texture pack, but I'm very happy with the way it looks here as well. And I'll definitely stick with that for sure. It actually makes the, um, 
the factory look pretty cool. So let me go ahead and fly over to the factory and give you guys an idea of some of these buildings. So they, some of them look a lot different. Like this one is a little bit lighter. He changed the sand blocks, which we'll get to in a little bit. And the all the stained clays are changed as well. This is a major key. I'm going to be talking about this in a little bit more detail in a second. But this is just, this is what makes everything just that much better. Like, look at this. Like, the before and the after on that is just amazing. And by the way, oh my god, look at this, guys. Oh my god, is that on the original download? Oh, I hope not. Oh god, that's not good. Anyway, I just found a mistake. But we're not going to worry about that. Look at the... Um, Bedrock Tires Factory. I love it with the bricks. I think it looks fantastic. That is just, that is really, really cool. So uh, that's uh, another change. He also revamped the grass blocks. So he made them a little bit more colorful, um, a little bit different than what you would see on the regular city texture pack. And I'm totally cool with that. Got no issues there. Uh, he changed all the sand blocks. All of the sand blocks have been changed. Uh, let me go ahead and fly over to the sandstone tower. That's probably like the best way to, to get a look at this, but all the sand blocks have been, I guess, lightened, and the texture of them has changed. So this is now the regular sandstone blocks. Uh, this right here is sand. I think this is a massive, massive upgrade over the original city texture pack, and that's that's amazing. I love that. Love that feature. Next up, we have the stained clay. So let's go ahead and talk about this in a little bit more detail. I'm going to fly over here for this. Uh, so the stained clay is right. You guys have always known how much I have not liked the stained clay on the city texture pack on xbox well now they have been completely revamped and modified and they are super viable in a lot of ways so let's just give you guys some examples here's the cyan stained clay that is just a fantastic block right there honestly that could be used for roads that could be used for carpet it could be used for so many different things uh, that is just you know knocked it out of the park right there red red stained clay amazing that could easily replace um red wool used throughout the world fantastic looking block it's a lot smoother cleaner looking yellow stained clay again another viable option which is fantastic cyan or light blue stained clay i should say that's actually what's used on the the theater here and like the theater just looks so much better like this than it did previously i'm not saying it looked bad previously but it it's definitely a major upgrade and then the last one here that i'll show is the magenta but they all have the same texture it's just a different color and it's just so nice to have a, a usable version of stained clay. That is probably the best thing about this upgrade. So next up on the list is the glass, which has also been changed. So let me just show you guys all the glass. They actually, uh, he actually made the uh, black and white glass a little bit more defined. So you guys know in the original City Texture Pack, the black glass isn't like a huge difference between regular glass. Well, not in this version of the Texture Pack. In this version, the black and the white glass are very black and they are very white, which is what I want. I want them to be different from original glass because it just makes it look that much better. So, like, look at this. Black stained glass is just so good now. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. He did a great job not putting too much, like, detail into the windows, just keeping them, like, a clean design. Definitely a better design than the original uh, windows, which are right here, which still have a little bit of, like, that um, little marks in it, I guess. But I'm going to fly over to the Eclipse Tower real quick and show you guys... Uh, you know some black stained glass and like in bulk because it is just looking fantastic the eclipse tower is looking so so much better than it did previously so check this out guys we got all the black stained glass on the eclipse tower the quartz has been brightened as well so i mean the eclipse tower got a major upgrade it looks fantastic i'm i'm loving it so um it's just it's so cool like this this whole thing is just so cool that this is actually like coming true like the city texture pack has been upgraded it's just it's so crazy and then um what else oh yeah uh the leaves have been changed so you guys know that city texture pack leaves especially the oak leaves aren't amazing well he, i think he actually just took the natural texture pack design and just put it in the city texture pack so that's fantastic i'm totally cool with that so that's awesome another miscellaneous thing he did was uh change the hay bales those are uh, a little bit different. I like the color on those. Those are very nice. Uh, but what else do we have to check out? Um, let's see. I think he did... He switched up the cyan glass for ice, I believe. Yeah, so the uh, the texture of cyan glass is actually ice, which I'm, is kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly why he did this uh, because there already is ice. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't really use any, much, any cyan stained glass anyway. Next up, we have sea lanterns and whoop, that's not the right blog 
So the sea lanterns, I actually really like the um, the texture of these sea lanterns, but I also really like the texture of the original sea lanterns on Xbox. So we might get those switched. I'm not sure. Um, I might stick with these. It really just depends. But um, and honestly, I'm fine with it either way. Uh, the stone color has been revamped. He just made the stone a little bit lighter, which again, I'm very happy with. You know, when the blocks are looking lighter, uh, I'm like totally cool with that. I think that's great. And he added some texture to some of the flowers. So you guys know the the red flowers in uh, this texture pack aren't great. They've never been great, but he actually made them look really nice. Like, look at that. That's a very viable looking flower. So that's really cool. Um, and then he also changed the color of the water. This is like the last thing I'm going to discuss. The water is different now. I want to say that he took this from another texture pack, but I'm not exactly sure which one. I really don't know, but it looks a lot better than the original city texture pack water. So... I'm very, very happy about it, but um, that's about it as far as changes. There are some more things that I might be missing. There's so many, you know, once you actually like go through a texture pack, you realize how many blocks are actually in the game. But I will say that um, at the bottom of the change list picture that he gave me, or I guess the change list uh, text, he uh, said, just let me know when you want, uh, what you want changed next. And that's awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna work with this guy, and I'm going to make the best version of the city texture pack possible. I'm gonna get like all of the major blocks that I don't like in the original city texture pack changed. We're gonna make them just look that much better, and we're gonna we're gonna make my like my own custom texture pack, uh, you know, just for me and you guys. So uh, it should be really really cool. I know a lot of other like PC Minecraft YouTubers make their own custom texture packs, and like to be able to do this myself is just like really really awesome. So. Uh, I can't thank the guy who did this enough. I mean, I, again, I didn't even ask him to do this. He just randomly messaged me out of nowhere with this with this texture pack, and I was just blown away. So it's just, it's a really awesome community that I have here. So to just kind of go out of their way and do something like that. So I really appreciate it. I'll definitely be uh, working with this guy to help make this texture pack even better than ever. Um, just a couple of, like, random stuff off the top of my head that I think could be changed. Um, some of the textures of the of the wolves could potentially be changed. There's like honestly so much things. Bricks could be changed. Uh, bookshelves could be changed. Like there's so, there's so many things that we could improve on uh, and make the city texture pack that much better. And then by still, when still doing that, we can still keep like the original, you know, some of the original blocks that, you know, you guys can recognize. But um, look at this. Like this is actually white stained clay. I actually made it kind of like a like a like a lighter tan brick color so that's kind of interesting um it actually it makes the uh the grandiose apartment look so much different it's kind of funny i don't know if i i'm not 100 percent sure if i like that or not but um overall though this is just this is like a dream come true honestly this is just so amazing to be able to like just randomly come out of nowhere and just have something like this i mean this is going to be the texture pack i'm going to be using um, for constructing Los Angeles from here on out. So we finally have a texture pack that we can go with. And my, it's my own custom texture pack too, which just makes it that much more cool and unique. So, um, again, I just want to thank, uh, this guy for, for making this thing. It, it's just, it's really, really awesome. So, uh, with that guys, I'm going to conclude this video. Uh, you guys might be wondering, you know, can we get a download for this texture pack? Uh, not at this, I'm not ready to release an official download at this point. But I will, once once I work with the guy a little bit more and we change up some more blocks and make it, like, perfect, uh, then I will, like, put make it, like, an official download link for you guys. So, um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give this video a like rating if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys tomorrow for the first episode of CLD with this new texture pack. So, it should be pretty cool. So, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Dan Lax, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.